got to be aware of the inbounder here if you're Philly. It's off to Leonard, defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? Thank you for joining us here at the Raptors Den. Before we get started, smash that like button. Let us know in the comments what you think. And ultimately, we want you to be a part of our journey here at the Raptors Den and Offside and Out of Bounds. So hit that subscribe button. What is going on in the NBA right now? Free agency is wrapped up. Training camps are starting soon. And we are now with two extremely high-priced point guards on the market. Not happy with their situation and looking for a way out. Both situations are a bit different. Simmons is not looking to report to camp and not even speaking with his team. And John Wall and the Rockets are going to work together on getting a deal done. The story of two different organizations. John Wall was the centerpiece in the Westbrook trade as Houston received a first round protected pick and Wall after sending Westbrook to Washington. This is also shortly after trading James Harden for a lackluster return. Now Houston will be looking to win whatever trade goes through to save some face after the entire NBA dragged them for the Harden trade. The trade for Wall was also not balanced either. In return, instead of several workable assets, they got Wall, a $44 million point guard with close to $100 million left on his contract and a 2023 first round pick. Now they have to move another high priced point guard for the third year in a row. Ultimately, if Wall is dealt prior to Simmons, the Wall trade will set the market for Simmons and perhaps Philly gets a realistic deal done after that. Wall is a very different player than Simmons. Firstly, he is a 30 year old point guard who has seen his best years behind him. Also, the chatter about the Raptors and even some Miami fans stating that they would rather have had John Wall over Kyle is absolutely ludicrous. He hasn't played a full season since 2013 and has been having issues getting back to his all-star form that saw him an all-star from 2013 to 2017. Wall is also coming off a 2019 season where he was having heel issues, ruptured his Achilles and fought off an infection. He wasn't very happy in Washington either as there were rumors that there was a rift between him and Beal that was beyond repair and one had to go. He also wasn't interested in joining a rebuilding team. He still landed in Houston, a team that pretty much got rid of every piece of talent they had at the deadline, leaving Wall on a rebuilding team. Certainly Houston sees the issues Philadelphia is having with moving Ben Simmons and perhaps moving a $44 million point guard is not going to be easy. Looking to win a deal is going to take a lot from another team. Players and picks and in the NBA, few teams are looking to blow their cap and load for a player that could be past his prime. In fact, there's only one team in the NBA right now operating with positive cap saves, and that is Oklahoma. Unless Oklahoma is looking to move SGA and half their team to get Wall, it's just not going to happen. Too much capital to change hands. Perhaps the way to solve both Philadelphia and Houston's issues is to swap Ben Simmons for John Wall. That gives Ben Simmons a fresh start and a dynamic scoring guard in Jalen Green, and it gives Wall a contending team that he can contribute to effectively. Any more chatter of either of these players going to Toronto has to be squashed right here. I would rather have our guards and the potential that is there, their ceiling and their growth. Thank you for joining us here at the Raptors Den and our talk about John Wall and Ben Simmons and why the Raptors need to steer clear of both of these players. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let us know in the comments where you think John Wall and Ben Simmons will end up. And ultimately, we want you to be a part of our journey here at the Raptors Den and offside and out of bounds. So hit that subscribe button.